What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ryan, and this is another quick nootropics clip. Every shred of information we put on this channel is brought to you by a couple products. Number one, we have a nootropic stack. It is called Cortex. It is a strong pre-made stack. If you want Cortex right now, pretty cheap. Get it for 28 bucks using the coupon code 5 at livecortex.com. Also, if you want Cortex for 25 bucks a bottle, buy the double stack. You have to buy two, but it's 25 bucks a bottle at livecortex.com. If you need my help personally in anything related to nootropics, we have a consulting service, 40 minute call with me, 15 additional email correspondences, custom stack formulation for you. And if you're new to nootropics, two products, either Smarter, Better, Faster, digital book we wrote for you if you're new to nootropics, or the nootropic starter pack, which is Smarter, Better, Faster, plus a bottle of our stack cortex in a package deal. So I've been doing a lot of medium dosing of racetams lately. I've, I've recently run through an experiment where I basically taken seven racetams, all the major seven racetams. I don't count nefiracetam as a major racetam because it has the potential to induce kidney damage, I believe. Uh, there's a lot of anecdotals on it and it even does that in canines. So I just stick with paracetam, adoracetam, oxiracetam, phenylparacetam, coloracetam, fasoracetam, pramiracetam. That's the major seven. So I've been experimenting with basically taking all seven in very, very low doses and finding the right dose for me. We just talked about that in the video that was titled something to the effect of, you know, industry secrets, insider secrets to nootropic stack formulation. So go watch that video if you want to read more about that. But I also have broken it down into taking three racetams at a time and trying to find the best dose of those three racetams and figuring it out. Uh, we'll do another video coming with coloracetam, fasoracetam, and primaracetam as my three. But now I want to talk about phenylparacetam, aniracetam, and oxyracetam as my three. So the strategy, because I think methodology is very important when taking nootropics, the biggest problems that people run into with side effects or tolerance or inconsistency typically have to do with the fact that they're just, they don't have a strategy to to take nootropics. They're kind of ad hoc taking stuff and they don't really know how to take it the right way or the right way for them or the right experimentation process to uh, to do it. And so for me, phenylparacetam, adoracetam, and oxyracetam, in order to take them together, it's obviously different than if I just were to take one of them in terms of the choline source and in terms of the dose of the racetam. So let me just break down my doses. I'm going to run through a couple things that didn't really work particularly well for me and then I'm going to talk about how I found my sweet spot in medium dosing those racetams. Uh, the first experiment that I did, I have it all written down here, was that I did 200 milligrams phenylparacetam, 500 milligrams anoracetam, 500 milligrams oxyracetam. I took with that 150 milligrams of alpha-GPC. Now, I, the, for probably about an hour or so, I got a very, very strong stimulant effect, and but it, but it, it, it sort of overstimulated my neurons to a point where I it, I had a hard time focusing. So if I wanted to multitask, fine, I would have been perfect. But I didn't want to multitask. I actually wanted to sit down and focus. So that 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 then told me I needed to make some adjustments. Same exact stack, 500 milligrams aniracetam, 500 milligrams oxyracetam, 150 at GPC, but I took the phenylparacetam dose down to 75 milligrams. Now that was a lot better. However, uh, I still had some degree of overstimulation and the stack was inconsistent over the course of the, in the, the following three days. So I tried it for three days after that to see what was going on and the stack was inconsistent. One day it'd be pretty good, semi overstimulating sometimes. The next day it was pretty good, but day three it really kind of just fell off and I was sort of wondering why. Uh, what I then did was I kept, see this is where it's gonna blow people's minds because you just never know with nootropics. The, the, the next experiment was I kept the phenylparacetam at 75, I took the aniracetam down to 350, and I took the oxyracetam up to 700 milligrams, kept the GPC at 150, exactly the same, and that's where I found my sweet spot for those three racetams. I felt super motivated, I was totally locked in. It, 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 would have been, it would have been difficult for anyone on the planet to get my attention off of what I was focusing on. So that was a focus stack. You know, so for, for those of you looking for a focus stack, maybe try that stack. But I, I guess the, the greater overarching point is what, on a theme that we've been kind of talking about recently, where experimentation is a lengthy process and you have to go through a process of taking a stack, recording it, figuring out how you feel, maybe taking it another day, doing the same thing, seeing if there's any consistencies, and then taking kind of one thing down at a time or up at a time to find the perfect stack. And then lastly, I would say, Sometimes you just never know. Like with that stack, I would have thought that since I took the phenylparacetam dose down in that 
phenylparacetam, aniracetam, oxyracetam, alpha GPC stack, and I started to feel better, like it was working better, that the next step would have been to take something else down. But it wasn't. I mean, I took the aniracetam down a little bit, but it was really to take the oxyracetam up to 700 milligrams. Who knew, who would have thought, that's pretty interesting to me, so I thought it would be interesting to you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember, every shred of information we put on this video on this channel is brought to you by a couple uh, powerful nootropic products. Right now, the Cortex Nootropic Stack, motivation, verbal fluency, brain fluidity, mental energy, mood benefits, 28 bucks a bottle if you use the coupon code 5, F-I-V-E at livecortex.com. If you want Cortex at 25 bucks a bottle, you could always get it at 25 bucks a bottle. You just have to buy two bottles. That is the Cortex double stack, and you can find that at the homepage at livecortex.com. If you need my help on any of this stuff, 40-minute consulting call with me, 15 additional email correspondences, we will square stacks away for you that will work for a long time so you can stop treading water. Buy that at livecortex.com. And if you're new to nootropics, you gotta buy Smarter, Better, Faster. You have to start there and you gotta read it at least five times. Or just buy the nootropic starter pack, which is Smarter, Better, Faster, plus a bottle of our stack Cortex in a package deal. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you next time.